Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rachaha Kodash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Kazak Shalom to the hopeful elect. All right, this is your brothers of Raya Allah, coming back with another lesson through the spirit of power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. All right. And uh, just a quick, you know, just a quick hit, you know, something on my spirit, you know, that I was just, you know, thinking about and just meditating on, you know, about, you know, these two thirds, man. Okay. And I know some brothers are still, you know, fairly new in this truth, you know, and as our walk, we start to understand that the brotherhood is all that we have, man. All right. And our, our family members and the ones who we, who we called our family, man, they, man, they the two thirds, man. They a bunch of niggas, man. All right. No matter how many times we try to warn them and, and, and tell them about this true day, they won't get it, man. You know why? Because the Lord, you how about Shemion Shai don't give a fuck about him, man. All right? Because if he did, he would call them, you know, into this truth. All right? He would get them to understand so they can receive salvation, man. All right? Now, before I grab Jeremiah 11, I want to go to uh, Proverbs, the 21st chapter. Okay? This is Proverbs 21 and 16. It says, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Okay, so a man that wanders, man, out of the way of understanding. Okay, what is, what was is the way of understanding? The way of understanding is learning who your power is, man. Learning who who your Lord is, who you should worship. Okay, learning who the enemy is. Okay, learning your heritage, man. Okay, and building your and building yourself up in the faith, man. Okay, that's the way of understanding. Understanding of righteousness and understanding wickedness, man. All right, but the two thirds of our people, they won't get it, man. They don't understand why people are constantly being put to death, man. Because it's of the will of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shad, man. Okay? They don't understand why they're uh, under these curses, why they got to work a nine to five and, you know what I'm saying, re receive these benefits from the government. They don't understand that these damn churches and these, these Christians, they don't give a damn about you, man. They're they speaking you to lie. They speaking lies to you, man, under the 5013C Act, man. Okay? Meaning that they're under a, a certain doctrine that they can teach you, man. The spirit of the Lord is not dealing with them, man. Okay? So they're in the congregation of the dead, meaning they're spiritually dead. They're, they're not going to get it. All right? So when someone is through like that, someone is that sick, man, they got to be put to death, man. Because now they're just, you know, they're suffering, man. They're suffering in, in, in wickedness, man. And the Lord can't do nothing with them, man. The Lord Yahweh Shai is a physician, man. He, he heals the sick, right? Okay? But it's a certain point of time where you're... you're yeah, these man, they too sick, man, and they don't want to. They don't want to be healed. Okay, that's another thing. That's another point. Okay, when when, when you're sick, okay, you you you're supposed to seek, you know, for for uh to to be healed. Okay, but these two thirds, they don't even seek to be healed. Okay, and this is why Yahweh Shai, the physician, can't heal them, man, because they don't want to. All right. So um, uh, now let's go to um, and this is why the Lord said. This is why the Lord said this, man. This is Jeremiah eleven. In verse 14, it says, therefore, pray not for thou this people, man. What people? The nation of Israel, man. These two-thirds, man. Okay, don't pray for them, man. They don't deserve your love of prayer, man. They don't deserve, you know what I'm saying, mercy from you. How about Shem, y'all shy, man. Okay? They, they, they don't. Because ultimately, they don't want it, man. All right? They gave the Lord up in the, in, in the time of, of the Romans. Where they, you know, they gave the Lord up. They rather, they rather free a murderer, okay, and free a thief. Then to free Yahweh, then to free Yahweh Shai, man. All right. It says, therefore, pray not for thou this people, neither lift up a cry for or a prayer for them, for I not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for in their trouble, man. Okay, because Jacob's trouble is coming, is it, is coming, man. All right, Jacob's trouble is coming. All right, and that's a greater evil than we have ever seen, man. All right, and they're gonna be in trouble, and they're gonna be calling on J C. They're gonna be calling on these, you know, saying false gods, and the Lord is not gonna hear them, man. All right, because when we try to give them the names, when we try to tell them and, and help them prepare for the evil days, they didn't want to listen, man. Okay, so now they got to be put to death, man. They got to get punished for that, man. All right? Um, and this is why when you go to Revelation, the 22nd chapter, all right? And this is going into the fact of, man, we just got to let them be, man. You just got to let them be, okay? This is Revelation chapter 22 and verse 11. It says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still, man. Okay, meaning let let him he wanna to continue to do his wickedness, let let him. Yo, you already warned him, you warned him once, you warned him twice. Okay, you got the blood off of your hands, man. He didn't want to turn from his way. Or she. 
right? It says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And which is filthy, man. They're, they're filthy, man. We're, we're still filthy, but we're constantly trying to clean ourselves with this word, man. We got to get the hell up out of here, man. We can't be worried about, you know what I'm saying, the next man and, and next woman, man. Okay? Although, you know, we have the brotherhood and everything like that. I mean, and you help a uh, you help a brother out, but as far as outside of brother, man, to hell with them, man. All right, because they're gonna be the ones, the uh, the first ones to give you up. All right, it says, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still, man. So we're gonna continue to serve you. How about some y'all shy, whether they believe or not? Okay, Romans the third chapter said that. Uh, well, uh, with the Lord, how about Shimei Al-Shai be without a fake if some didn't believe? To hell no, man. All right, who cares if they don't believe, man? Okay, the brotherhood is all you need. It says, let him be righteous still and let him that is holy be holy still, you know? Uh, verse 12, it says, and behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be, man. Okay, because ultimately, all right, your, your work and, and, and your faith Right, how how we spoke about in James the second chapter eighteen verse, it says, "I will show you my works uh, by my faith." Okay, so if you have true faith, you're going to continue to be diligent. You're going to continue to serve Yahweh Shimon Shah with all your heart. All right, but but the wicked they are, they're not going to you know take advantage of this grace period. Okay, they're going to be you know scoffing and saying, "Oh, you are a liar." They 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 want to hear those smooth things. All right, they don't they don't want to hear this truth. Okay, so to to hell with them. We 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 shouldn't care for them anyway, man. To hell with them. All right. Um, next scripture that I was gonna get. Oh yeah, con. Uh, this is Second Edges chapter nine, and verse twenty-two. It says, "Let let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain." <laughs> and, and and what's that multitude? The two thirds, man. These other nations as well. All right, let 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 them let the multitude perish, meaning die. Let them die, man. All right, they 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 gotta get burnt up, man. They missile fool, man. If they don't know they're Israelite now, and they don't believe that they're under the curse, and they don't believe that Yahweh Shai is a so-called uh a Negro, so-called brown man. All right, coming back with uh with chariots and uh, so-called UFOs. All right, to gather his elect. If they don't believe, man, let them perish, man. Okay, because it's already written for them to perish anyway. Okay, we gotta fill out the. We gotta fulfill all these prophecies, man. We gotta so like we gotta live these prophecies out, man. We gotta keep moving forward and, and keep pushing, man. All right. We can't get distracted and 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 be uh held up in, into the affairs of this life. All right. Because we at war. It says, "Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept in my plant. For a great labor have I made it perfect, and that's going into the elect. All right." Because the Lord, if it wasn't for the Lord, we wouldn't we wouldn't have been kept, okay. And and the Lord is 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 working through us, man. The Lord is is refining us as as precious gold, man. Okay, why? So we could be worthy for salvation. So we can be worthy to 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 sit on the right hand uh with Yahweh Shai, man, and, and be a, a a part of the elect, man, ruling, okay. So it it, it takes works for this, man. It, it it takes faith, okay. It's not for the weak. Okay, so we gotta put off that weak nature and 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 and, and to damn with these demons, to damn with these two thirds, man, and, and just keep pushing, man. You just gotta, man, say fuck everything and and go full throttle, man. Okay, keep yourself occupied in the spirit, all right. No matter what, okay, because your life depends on it, man. Your life depends on this truth, man. Okay, and who are we to just you know just let this gift that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai gave us go to waste, man? We got to put in this work. And I'm, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, but this was just on my spirit and I just had to get it out. So, you know, the water, you how about Shimmy Shai, you know, for dealing with me to do this lesson, man. All right. Um, and this is the last precept that I'm going to get, man. Okay. This is uh, this is second address, chapter 15. And, and I'm going to start at first. Actually, I'm going to start. At, I'm going to start from the top. It says, behold, speak thou in the ears of. Of my people, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, save the Lord. And we've been doing that, man. Okay? We've been living out this prophecy. We've been speaking. We've been on the highways and hedges. Okay? Bidding them to the marriage. Okay? The scriptures speak about how we have piped unto you, but ye have not danced. Because this is a song, man. We're singing the Lord's Yahweh Bashim Yahshai song. And they ain't want to dance. They don't want to They don't want to dance along. They don't want to sing along, man. All right? Because it ain't for them. Okay, they ain't gonna get the song. They don't understand the lyrics. It it don't resonate with their spirit. All right, it says verse two, 
and cause them to be written in the paper for they are faithful and true. And that's this. That's these holy scriptures, man. OK, they're, they're written. OK, this 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 uh th th these prophecies. OK, the things that's, that's spoken about that's about to happen. OK, it's already written, which meaning it's the Lord's word. So it's going to be manifesting and it's going to be done. OK. It said, like it says in uh 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 Habakkuk two, it says though it though it tarry, wait for it because it shall come to pass. All right, verse three, it says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And incredulity goes to the ones that are the unbelievers, man. Okay, the ones who don't believe on Yahweh Shah, they don't believe the true names. Okay, the ones who the ones who want to just 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 buck up against us and speak evil of us, man. And call us crazy and we out of our mind and we don't know what we talking about and we're a fool and we're bums and you know all these different things, man. But that's okay. Okay, because the Lord Yahweh Shai is gonna fight for us, man. The Lord, the Lord is gonna prove our innocence, man. The Lord is gonna prove us right. And I can't wait for that day. Okay, I can't wait for the day that the Lord, you know, come back, okay, and and and, and, and all the things that we were speaking about in these scriptures are coming to pass and we was telling like, man, we was right, you know. We want we we want the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushua to prove these damn devils wrong, man. All right, and these two thirds, man, cause they gotta go, man. I'm sick of them, man. They gotta go. All right, uh, verse verse four it says, "For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness." Verse five, "Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, man. Okay, the whole world, man. The whole inhabitants of the world, man. Okay, and that's uh uh uh." What is that uh, word? What's the Greek word? Uh, so you got cosmos, eon, and oikomene. Oikomene is the Greek word for for holding an inhabitant, man. Okay, it says the sword, famine, death, and destruction, man. Okay, and all that's coming too, man. And especially that, you know, that MOTB prophecy, man. Okay, that's going to take place. Okay, and, and if you don't have food in, in, in your cabinets, okay, you, you, you're going to take you're going to take the chip. So you can't get the food and things of that nature. What? But we're gonna, you know, the elect, Yahweh Rath Zah, the elect, they're gonna depend on Yahweh Bashim Yahshai to feed them, man. Okay, like it spoke about in the wilderness, man. We ate uh we ate food from mamma. Uh we ate uh angels food, man. We ate mammon that came from heaven, man. Okay? Daniel, okay, when he was in the lion's den, had ravens sent him food. Same thing with Elijah the prophet when he was in the caves, man. So you think the Lord ain't gonna feed his elect? Man, you must be crazy. All right? It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, man. And all this is coming to America, man. All of it. All right? It says, verse 6. Why? Why is this coming to America? For what? What, what did America do? It's going to go into it. It says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. Okay? All this wickedness has been spread throughout the whole earth. So it needs to be cleansed. Okay, death, destruction, everything. Okay, when there's when there's when the, the scriptures speak about it says a little leaven, leaven in the whole lump. So if it's a little wickedness here, okay, that means it's, it's gonna spread like a virus, right? It's gonna spread here, it's gonna spread there. And that's ultimately what happened since these damn devils been in power, man. Okay, going back to the whole renaissance. Ever since they came back into power, the, the wickedness have it, it says the, the iniquities have, have reached unto heavens, man. Okay. So it, it's so much going on, man, and and, and it got to be put the, it got to be put out, man. The cancer of earth has to be put out, man. We need a reset, okay. Verse six it said, "For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, thus saith the Lord." It says, "Therefore saith the Lord, man." Okay, because hey, the the Lord is letting it reach that cap, and once it reach that cap, the Lord is gonna bring all all this destruction here, man. Okay, so. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, you know, like I was going into, man, just, you know, stay on the course, man, to, to hell with them two-thirds and to, to hell with the ones who don't believe, man. Okay, the Lord is dealing with you, man. Stay in this truth and stay in this fight, man. Stay occupied in the spirit, okay, and keep praying to your how about you, shot. We're going to make it through, Akim. All right, so with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I want to say... All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachah Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Kazak Shalom to the hopeful elect. Kwam Yasharala and Ababa Bob, man. Destroy Babylon. Shalom.